So what I'd like to go over are some procedures for addressing the shoulder, elbow, hand, wrist kinetic chain. People will come in, whether they're working at a desk or whether they're involved in sports, but often they'll tell me, I've got an elbow problem, and they don't mention the shoulder, and yet when I get in the shoulder, I feel a lot of tension. Same thing with the wrist. It can act, this whole chain needs to be addressed at the same time. So whether we're talking about maintenance care to prevent injuries or to address an injury, it's always good to follow the entire chain, not work on the area just where you're feeling the tension. So Mickey, why don't we start up with the shoulder here. Go ahead and face forward. Good. See your range of motion here first. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Take there. Okay. Okay. This is, it's kind of stuck. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go straight out first. Head down. Turn your face over to the left. Wait. Right across. Cross. 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 Good. 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 Okay. And back. And again, straight out. So I'm going to do this a number of times until I feel a release. Already you're starting to just have a little bit there. Yeah. But sometimes it'll take, oh, it could be three to six motions across there. When I feel that release, I would move on to the next one. Take this down, grab the arm, pull it down the vector like that, drop the head straight down. Good. Then take your head over slightly. Oh. Right there. Good. Oh Doing okay? Yep. Good. Okay, and again, I'm back, cross, down, hold down, increasing tension, let me take it in circumduction there, good. Feel that a lot more, don't you? Oh, way more. Right through the traps, supraspinatus. Yep. Okay, and up. So anytime you consider the shoulder, we have to consider how the shoulder blade is moving. Whether we get a good ratio between the uh, scapula and the humerus, should have a nice two to one ratio. That's tight there. Okay, and up. Okay, bend your elbow, take it back, over. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, take it up, back, and over. Up, back. Oh yeah, it's just starting to right now. Good. And, and over. Good. Okay, now I'm going to have you lie on your side. Facing the okay. So let me just get inside here. You okay? Mm -hmm. Down. Of course, we're going to run into some of that. More common areas to work on between the serratus anterior and the dorsi. But if we also go to the scapula back here, go along the border, straight to the edge, but right there. Yep. Really tender. Okay. So quite often what I'm doing when I'm doing this, I'm not just getting in and addressing a tight area. I'm also taking consideration um, acupuncture points, and I'm getting on particular areas where there's a thickening in the fascia so I can get a release on the area. I'm starting to let go a little bit? Yep. Yeah, quite a bit. Okay, arm up here. When I ask you to, I'm going to get you to go like that. Okay. Okay? Not too fast. Take it down. Okay, so what kind of work are we around the tricep here? Right down, back up, and again. Down, good, and up, and again, feel that a bit, that one, yeah. <laughs> and again, right down, good, back up, and again, excellent, and up, okay, so we can release that, lie on your back please. Yeah, the tricep is so important, whether in terms of fascial connections, going both lateral and medial, it's gonna have an effect in terms of position, so it's gonna affect whether you're having golf rows of tennis elbow or some mm -hmm. other condition. 
Okay, I need to get up on the front here. You okay with me working on the area? Oh yeah. Why don't you put your breast down on that side? Thank you. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just wonderful. Oh, man. That is sight, isn't it? Okay. So if you are working on the computer, at a desk, arms are forward, you're on the keyboard, your pecs are gonna get short and contracted. Okay, so I'm also gonna move on to the subscapularis right there. You okay? Yeah. Oh my slow. goodness. Back. And again. So some of the techniques, they will use their thumb, but I think it's way too intense and very, very pokey. You okay? Oh yeah. Let's Start to let go. Yeah. <laughs> to that first one. Okay. Good. Just have a seat for one sec here. All right. Take it down. Now grab your hand. Pull in like a stretch. Oh. Good. Back up. Down. Bicep here. Good. You okay? Yeah. Good. Good. Excuse me. Back up. Down. Not too bad over there. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Must be doing something wrong here. Uh, okay, good. So, I'm going to go to the oh. common flexor tendon, which is not so nice. Now, there's an interesting thing here. If I was doing maintenance on someone, I was working on a gentleman the other day, and he's at least 125 pounds more than I am. Mm -hmm. Very large, very, very strong, and a lot of people have a hard time getting in there. So what you do in such a case is you bring this down, Grab your hand, and then you pull it in. Oh. Okay, and then you drop oh. just slightly. Okay. Grab it again. So keep your hand on this, the wrist here. Pull it in, just slightly. Oh. Bend it again, Bear, barely. Okay. Okay, pull it in again, back. So what you can do is you can actually use the person's strength to help you release their restrictions. Good. Okay. So I'm working my way down. Rest of it. Just loosen up the articles in there. You doing okay? Oh, yeah. This always feels good. Always. And then I will get you to lie on your back again, please. not to go too far. You okay with that oh, yeah. range? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But some people get about this far. They, yeah. <laughs> they just won't go any farther. Okay, you've got really good mobility there. Excellent. Okay. Come have a seat. Bring your legs forward. Okay. Just bring that arm up. Back. There. Okay. Bring both arms up. Right back, as far as you can. Okay, go out, as far as you can. <laughs> you can go pretty good now. Yeah. All right, but there is quite a bit of difference now between the left and the right side. Oh, yeah. You do that. This is a great way of providing maintenance care for your patients. Works really well. 